Welcome to Finding Volumes of Solids of Revolution, Part 5. This time we're going to take the region, revolve it about the y-axis, and apply the shell method to find the volume of the solid generated. The first thing we have to decide is how to slice the region in order to obtain shells. I hope it's pretty obvious to you that we need to slice it vertically. So here's one of the vertical strips. How thick is this strip? It's a little piece of x, dx. The next step is to label the endpoints of the strip. Which coordinate do the two points have in common? The x's. So let's write down the x's. Next, we fill in the y coordinates of those two points. The point on the line, the y coordinate is equal to x over 2. Move down to the point on the parabola. The y coordinate there is x squared over 8. That's enough information to find the volume of the shell. But let's take a look at the shell first. The volume of the shell is going to be 2 pi r, that's the circumference, times the height, times its thickness. Let's go back to our simpler picture. Here it is. What's the radius? The radius is x. I'll let you figure out the height of the shell, okay? Did you get the big y coordinate minus the small y coordinate? If so, we have x over 2 minus x squared over 8 for the height. And the thickness is dx. Let's get rid of our fractions. Pull out 1 eighth. We get 2 over 8 times pi x times... 4x minus x squared times dx. Let's multiply the x in to get ready for our integration. We get pi over 4 times 4x squared minus x cubed times dx. So the volume of the solid is the sum of all these shells. And where do we start slicing? We start slicing when x is 0, and we stop slicing when x is 4. So those are the limits of integration. Ready to integrate? We get 1 fourth pi times 4 times integrate x squared. We get x cubed over 3 minus integrate x cubed. We get x to the fourth over 4. Substitute the 4 in, we get 1 fourth pi times 4 over 3 times 4 cubed minus 1 fourth 4 to the 4th. Notice I'm not multiplying anything else because I don't want to use a calculator. A 4 cubed fact is out, we get 4 to the 4th power over 4 times pi times one third minus one fourth. The four goes into the four to the fourth power. We got four cubed and that's 64. 64 pi times common denominator is 12. Numerator is four minus three. We get 64 pi over 12. Four is a factor of both the top and bottom. So the answer is 16 pi over 3. QED. Do you have any questions? 
Yes, Miss G. Can we always solve these problems using both the disk and the shell methods? Good question, Chipmunk. The answer is no. Sometimes we can only use one of the methods. Because you asked, in part 6, we will look at one such problem where only one way of slicing is practical. Until then, everyone, have fun. Bye.